Susan, given your purview, I'd like to actually hear from you on this. Um, what have you seen in terms of some effective and creative um, recruitment approaches? Well, I think of two approaches off the bat. One is that if you have a group of, of volunteers who we call core group, having them reach throughout their social networks and think of all their friends from different parts of their lives who are young gay men, young MSM, and reach to those guys and try to bring them into the project. Bring them to the small group part of it, bring them to volunteer, and so forth. So that's one way. The second way is um, why empowerment uses social activities and a full range of social activities. Because we know that if we have a lot of different kinds of things that attract different guys and we get publicity out there about, about them, then guys will come to those things. And once they're there, then you can get them to sign in, you can get their contact information, you can get them onto a Facebook page, you can tweet them, you can text them. And so this idea of, of putting on a range, different kinds of activities, whether it's a sports activity, whether it's a, a job trainings activity, how to write resumes, a big dance party, all these things will attract different kinds of guys. And from that, you get their contact information to get them more involved in the project. Mm -hmm. So having a, a variety of activities that will interest them. That's that will, right. That will have, you know, uh, provide some incentive for them to come in the first place. Right, and very, very different kinds of activities. Don't mm -hmm. all use the same thing all the time. All right, right. Yeah, this demands creativity, definitely. Yeah. Uh, great. Could you speak to that as well? Um, particularly, um, you had talked about this in, in, in your concern around reaching, uh, again, the younger men. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's important that projects, you know, use the same kinds of communication channels that the that the youth are using themselves. So that if you if your target population is on Facebook, then you know you want to have a really strong Facebook presence. Um, if your target population is, I mean, all all youth are are texting, and so you know, projects have um, used pro um, programs like Tatango to send out um, mass text messages to their to the people on their lists. Um, I also think it's important that you know we not totally abandon other kinds of publicity strategies as well. That you know even though um, you know people are are using Facebook and Twitter and um, texting, you also still want to have print materials that you know guys can pass out to their friends, invitations that are attractive. Um, you, you might want to have flyers um, at coffee shops, at um, clothing stores that are popular with the population, um, any kinds of venues where guys are going that, that they have the, um, that they, they can find information about your projects there. I think sometimes um, using HIV testing sites to recruit participants is really important that, you know, to make sure that where the youth are going for testing is also where they're going to um, see a flyer for the project or pick up a card that counselors and uh, faith community leaders, um, you know, who are open and affirming um, will, or healthcare providers, you know, will know about your project and be able to refer the youth into the, into the intervention as well. Thank <laughs> you.